comes the axe. Prove yourself. Make a lot of rotations to this Atletico side and, and really start making a stamp on this game. Whereas in the last game, it felt like the clockwork, yeah, he was really tanky. Yeah, he had some good hook shots, but that was about it. And Rin does go down. Dagger. He can make a lot of rotations to this Atletico side and, and really start making a stamp on this game. Whereas in the last game, it felt like the clockwork, yeah, he was really tanky. Yeah, he had some good hook shots, but that was about it. And Rin does go down. Good he is loving life right now. 36 and 13 on an offlane panda. Obviously, he's platinum tier, so it looks like he's uh, played this hero quite a lot. Um, and then once that level 6 does come up, they have uh, some kill potential. But bottom lane, talking about kill potential to the mid, and they're going to try and take out this T1 tower top, try and shut down Shatard as much as possible. Oh, EJ has actually used the Dragon Form as well. Can get the... No, the okay, split. Primal Split comes out. EJ doesn't have a stun by the looks of it. No Dragon Tail coming out. Trying to get the damage down, but the Fire Spirits slowing down EJ's attack speed. They're just going to divert their attentions away. Yeah, that's good because there's no Dragon Form, so they're going to go in. Shatard decides just to time walk away the damage. Riz is not that... Oh, there comes a Chronosphere. And the Eidolon is absolutely beautiful at the moment. Just floating in the air. Now he's come back down to Earth. And Barla also might be rejoining the Earth as well at the same time. Rin also making the rotation up for Atletico. Means the Phoenix does go down. Squawking away. Now Shatan. Time walk. Is it off cooldown? It is. But there's phase boots on Rin. He's pretty hungry. Oh, Shatan's tanking the tower too. Oh, yeah, no. Riz is dead. Yep. That was a good rotation there from Atletico. They, they sent all five here. They managed to pick him up. So... Still has a TP away though. That's the whole thing. Stays alive. Very important. Barlet now he's under a bit of trouble. Dragon Tail's being used. Five seconds off the cooldown. Avalanche gonna be blink, and that's when it's pretty much go time for Atletico. But speaking of go time, yep, using the Chrono just to pick off Riz. Not a bad decision, I think, ultimately, as the ice path is there also to clean up. Shatard picks up the kill. Who do you chronosphere at that point? Do you even have enough damage to kill any of these heroes in Chronospheres? We were talking at the start of the draft. I mean, I'm about to say damage and everything, but they're actually going to go in even though Moonlight Shadow has been used. I don't... Okay, there's the Vision actually coming out. I don't know if it's a Dust or a Sentry Ward, but out comes the Sun directly onto Woglet. Doesn't matter if he goes down at the stage. Split Earth has been used. Eidolon's also doing damage as well. Now the Panda actually might go down. Woglet hitting the floor. Tiny going to be stunned off as well. Where's the rest of the reinforcements? Coming in from Natural 9 off Atletico. Actually, Atletico just going to be bailing out for them to, to, to clear him out. I mean, they managed to find EJ. They're going to be jumping on EJ. That's the real question. They're just dropping everything. They still have Chrono trying to keep him locked down. He's in the macro pile. There it is. Five people from Natural 9. They pick up EJ. Quite tanky. The problem is now they're going into the bottom shrine. They're trying to pressure Rin. TP's coming out. So Natural 9 are going to stay in fight. They are going to stay in fight. But the Global Science does come out from Woglet. Now the Black Holes are being used by Riz just to keep the Phoenix contained in. But the Ice Path! The Ice Path catches three. That's pretty big. Coming in from Kaz. Moonlight Shadow still keeping them in the fight. Barlow eventually does go down. But Zemistry in the back line still pretty healthy. Now out comes the egg. Pandas continuing forward, trying to lock down Kaz at this stage. EJ is full HP, but Woglet's going to get absolutely melted. Zemistry with a triple kill. The Sunray keeping Kaz alive. And the Fire Breath not going to do enough. So eight of the net worth. And the Zemistry, I mean, with Rin and Zemistry, they've been pretty much off the map. They've just been farming slowly, doing their own little thing. And, oh, look at that. Zemistry's got, just got another kill. They've committed quite on you know, how Natural 9 want to play their faces avoid. Dragonite does need to be careful though. Roger Dodge is just using the Sun Ray. The arrow, the arrow is not going to connect. Avalanche will, and there should be enough damage to burst down EJ. There you are, Natural 9. They exploded in the bot combo. Not enough damage. Tech Orb, not going to use the Split Earth, just, I mean, Split Panda just yet. Might eventually have, no, he can't. Barla just throws a tree at him. Woglet, what are you doing there, mate? You can't be quite out of position. Ice Path, he's going absolutely nowhere Go at all. Arrow. Into the arrow. You're stunned, you're dead. Bottom tier two is gone down. And they, I think they did. Zemistry wasn't expecting the blinking coming from Tech or really want to secure it. Shatan, two Mac Chronosphere. Zemistry going to be trying to land it as well. Oh, Roger Dodger, that's not, you just dived a little bit too far with the Icarus dive. There's a shrine as well for Natural 9 fight on Athletico. Just need a bell out of this situation. You can't continue forward. Tech Orp just using the spirits for as long as he possibly can. Rin dancing around the sidelines, wants to make sure his Blink Dagger is not going to be reset. He wants his timing, but look at this Barlow. He's just going to come straight off. He's got so much strength, toss up, but there's going to be enough follow-on coming in from Atletico. Tekor with a double kill. Natural 9, it was looking so positive, but Atletico managed to turn it all the way back around. Yeah, and Riz even used the Black Hole or nothing. So The egg not being able to pop off meant they weren't able to sunlock Tekor. He got the split off, got a triple kill, and yeah, it looks like it was a good fight there from Atletico, but... <laughs> Here's the thing, right? I don't think Woggler even used Global Silence. He's dead now, but... 
auto attacking quite a lot, and then the Radiance Moon does does a lot as well. Okay, now it's going to be a fight erupting around Supernova. Going to be used. Global Silence as well. They're going to be taking down the egg before Roger Dodger can do anything. Global Silence is going to wear off though, and they're going to continue forward. A bash straight onto Shatan as well. Double Ice Path coming out, but they have to use the Moonlight Shadow to back away. But you're saying Tech or he's just moving forward. He is so tanky. Riz also looking to commit. Doesn't need to use the Black Hole. Doesn't even have it. Oh, this is absolutely disastrous right now for Natural Nine because Atletico then is rolling forward and getting all the kills. As well as the Panda Split. The Shatan needs to be careful. EJ going to blink in. Oh my goodness. Faceless Voyage as well. I think it's still going to be there for a couple of moments. I think maybe like another minute left on it. But they have no egg either. And with Shatan dead for 14 seconds, Roger Dodger does take out Woglet. That's where the, the panda is. Because, you know, if the Chronosphere goes off and the panda's able to disrupt the rest of the fight, it doesn't look like they can do anything. But they're going in. Oh, the arrow. They oh, take a cops the arrow. Two-man avalanche. Roger Dodger also using the supernova. I don't think this is the best fight coming out from Atletico. I mean, they do manage to pick off Kaz. 10 seconds left. They don't want to be using buyback at the moment. I wonder if Riz has a blink dagger on the Enigma. I don't think he does. Are they going to lose a T3? Oh, okay, there he, does. he is! Oh my goodness! Three man! Black Hole coming forward, but the TP is just not there. There's no damage! And the Chronosphere is going to come out in comparison. Oh. Rin just dancing around the sideline as well. That's beautiful stuff. Zemistry needed back away, but he just gets bashed. Roger Dodger going to be swinging forward, but Atletico, they do. Roger is very, very close to this smoke. They're yeah. gonna jump in. Yeah, he's, he's very close to the smoke. As a matter of fact, he's dead. So what happens when you... you know, Ice Path is not gonna be able to land onto anything. Tech or two-man clap as well. Roger Dodger is gonna buy back as well. They're gonna try and lock down Bala, but he's pretty strong. He's gonna try to Shadow Blade out. Global Science also coming forward. Tower damage is gonna be pressured onto the tier three bottom. Shatan's gonna go down. No Chronosphere. Now has a Chronosphere. Buyback also happening. Oh no, the Panosphere is not only doing any damage to the Supernova. The Chrono onto Roger Dodger. It gets all five of them. Zemistry needs to be doing the damage. Rin is so tanky right now with the Enraged Tech Or. Eventually he's gonna go down. Toss ball with a lot of buybacks being used from Natural 9, but they should be able to clean up. It should be a team wipe. Rin trying to escape, trying to run away, slow down, trying to fight, but he cannot fight. And Natural 9, they had to try to uh, catch off Riz, because Riz, he's just by himself. No blink dagger. Oh no, you don't want to be loose. Duke has to use the haste room. But that doesn't matter, you use the haste room, you get a pick on Enigma, you know he's down for quite a while, but they're still not going to be able to get anything. Tickle's gonna try and take out Roger here. He has found him. He does get the clap as well as the auto attack. He doesn't have an egg to get away from this. No, it's a Moonlight Shadow as well, but Woggler comes in. Might pay the price though, ultimately, but there's just not enough damage. Woggler is gonna be copping quite a bit. Rin now, he's also in the fight as well. Bala using the PKB, but that doesn't stop the bear. Oh my god! First hit banish coming forward. BKB as well as Natural 9 backing away. Atletico, now they're the ones on the front foot. Woglet does go down to Zemistry, picks him off in the sideline. Still going to be pretty difficult to be picking off Kaz. EJ trying to find the Dragon Tail. One second off the cooldown for Blink Dagger. Is not going to jump forward. Two man Ice Bar. Where's the damage coming forward? Natural 9, two man Avalanche, but they need a follow up. The arrow, not going to land on anything. EJ copping huge oh. amount of damage. That's the two cores in the Chronosphere. But, but Tech Gore in the back line trying to lock down Zemistry. But they really want him. They really want him. But they can't. Oh my goodness, the Yule's coming out. Tekor is going to eventually die. Three cores dead on the side of Athletic. Well, they want to be pushing forward their advantage, and the drum's also going to be used as well. Going to try and catch out Tekor. But the Ice Path, that's a uh, questionable Ice Path at the best. Bala is still going to be hitting away, but the reinforcements should be coming in from Natural Offer oh, Atletico very, very soon. No one's tipping into the shrine. They're going to just try to take down the split lings at the moment. Shatan trying to hit away. Roger Dodger. Global Science means he can't Icarus dive forward, but Semestry is pretty strong at this stage. He picks off Woglet. Shatan going down the back line, though. He was isolated from his team. No Chronosphere for Natural Knight to work with, but Roger Dodger, he's got the Supernova. EJ Yule's up at the moment, and the Supernova's going to go off as well. They're locking down the Dragon Knight. He's really tanky, but Semestry, you know what? Better against the tank. Damage. Pure, pure damage. Three down. Zemistry does have to use the Aegis. Rin's pretty strong at the moment, looking to uh, pursue forward, but Bala does use the cheese. Still pretty relatively well. Supernova also goes down in the river, but Natural Nine are a little bit split off. They want to regroup here, but Roger Dodger sweeping forward with the Icarus dive. Kaz, he's a little bit out of position. Tech or the split is going to go and finish off. Rin's going to go down. He doesn't have buyback. That's a huge problem for Atletico. He's the damage. EJ now as well. He's been isolated. Atletico, we're not backing out in unison, but the black hole will keep him alive for now. There's no damage just as of yet. Riz will go down to make sure EJ stays alive.